Hey there, beautiful people. Today we are going to talk about one of the most important blood measurements for your health. And oftentimes doctors don't automatically run it. You want to know what it is? Well, stick with me. Hey there, this is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist, and nutrition detective. Please like this video if you do, and also hit that bell, and it will let you know when new videos come out. And also, I have a newsletter that I publish quarterly, and that's going to be coming out really soon, and there is going to be information in the description box down there on how you can sign up. We are all about being on a mission at this channel. Our mission is to reveal the truth about health and nutrition that leads you to greater freedom. It's all about freedom on this channel. And the thing that I'm going to talk about today will give you amazing amount of freedom. And that is a blood measurement called the A1C. What it is, it's glycated hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein in the blood that carries oxygen. And a lot of times you have to ask for this to be done. And I believe that anybody, anybody over 40, and if you have certain symptoms, you should be asking for this and getting this number because it's that important. The A1C measures what percentage of that hemoglobin is coated in sugar or glucose. It measures the average blood glucose over the past two to three months because here's the deal guys, hemoglobin cells are constantly dying and regenerating themselves. And glucose will attach to those molecules. So it's almost like the hemoglobin is keeping a record for you over a period of two to three months. When too much glucose attaches to the hemoglobin, your A1C number will go up. But let's say that your blood sugar was very, very high last month and it's pretty normal this month. Well, the hemoglobin still keeps a record. It keeps a record of how good your glucose control is, and it is very, very accurate. It is really more accurate than your fasting glucose that you would get in like a comprehensive metabolic panel, your fingers pricks, or even your urine test. It's more accurate than that because it tells you really how you're doing over a long period of time. Blood sugar can vary wildly depending on the time of day, depending on your hormonal levels, or even your activity levels. So you need to ask for it. And if, and if your doctor doesn't run one, you need to get one. So what is a normal level? Like I said, you got to ask for it. Always ask for it and get it done at least once a year. But a normal and conventional levels is considered 5.6% or under. I actually like my patients to be at 5.5 and under. 5.7 to 6.4 is a big, huge red flag. This is a time when you can reverse all of this and go in the opposite direction. I am going to post a couple videos below, insulin resistance and all kinds of things that will help you to reverse that number. It is absolutely crucial that you do that. And anything above 6.5, percent is considered diabetes. When you have a high A1C, if you even are in the pre-diabetic range, that's dangerous and you need to back that ugly train up. And like I said, I'm going to link those videos below. Please, please watch those videos and get yourself out of that danger zone. You also increase, when your A1C is high, you increase your risk of cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, nerve damage, slow wound and infection healing, so many metabolic issues happen in your body when your A1C is high. I have a patient named Pat who came to me just a few months ago and she had just been diagnosed with diabetes at 6.5. This beautiful lady had never even had an A1C done before at the age of 65. So she never knew she was careening in that 
direction. They immediately told her that she would have to be on blood sugar lowering medication. That was all she could do about that condition. There was really nothing else. Well, that is false if anyone ever tells you that. Yes, when you haven't gone too far to the dark side, it is actually reversible in some instances. And in hers, thank goodness it was, because she started working with me. She changed her diet. She was taking blood sugar lowering supplements. I'm gonna actually link one below that I use in my practice. It's called, I didn't bring it here today, but it's called uh, blood sugar support. And I'm telling you that that blood sugar supplement, and you have to pair that with diet, works amazingly well. I'll link that below. But I'm gonna tell you something, just by her lifestyle choices, her the changes in her diet, all the good things that she was doing, and it wasn't just one thing or even two things, she went down to a 5.4 within three months. It was amazing. Not only is she not diabetic, but she's not pre-diabetic anymore, and that can happen to you as well. So anyway, just wanted to inform you what the A1C was, how important it was, that you need to have that run, and you need to take it very seriously because it sets you up for trouble down the road, and it is a big indicator of how healthy you are. Thank you for being here, and please, please join me in the next video.